Good afternoon and a warm welcome. I'm Riha Dul Siddiqui and you're watching Mirror Now with me. Straight on to the big story that we are tracking at this hour in a medical first. Surgeons in the United States, Maryland, have now successfully transplanted the heart of a pig into a human. As a last-ditch effort to save his life, the surgeons used the heart of a genetically modified animal in a 57-year-old man. Doctors say three days after the surgery, the patient is doing well. Surgeons across the world have welcomed this feat as remarkable and breakthrough and also to be a big step in overcoming organ shortage due to lack of donors. In the history of transplantation, uh, no one has ever put a pig heart in, in, in a human. So this was the first. This patient um, was given an opportunity for this, um, this experimental transplant with the idea in mind that we didn't know what the outcome might be, but it wasn't going to be worse than traditional therapy. My dad was um, on his deathbed. I mean, my dad's prognosis early on was very, very, very bad. And the doctors have done everything in their power um, to keep him alive. They basically said he had less than six months and that this was very experimental. He could he could not live or he could last a day or he could last a couple days. I mean, we're in the unknown at this point. He realizes um, the magnitude of what was done um, and he real, realizes the importance of it um, and talking with him. Um, I've never in my life um, heard or seen my dad cry, but I think he realized the, the seriousness of his condition in the last couple of weeks. And so it was very difficult for him to make this decision. But at the end of the day, this was his best hope of getting out of the hospital and having somewhat of a normal quality of life. And joining me on the broadcast is Dr. Vijay Surase, who is a cardiologist and also a licensed heart-lung transplantation physician. Dr. Surase, thank you so much for joining me on the broadcast. Now, this is a big breakthrough. Your first comments on this, sir. Yeah, this is a genuinely a big breakthrough. This is first in the world. This is called a Zeno transplantation. Doctor-to-doc uh, -doc transplants were tried as early as in 1958. And... Uh, the first successful human transplantation was done in the Cape Town in the year 1967. But because of the shortage of the organs, lakhs and lakhs of people, they die because of this, the end organ disease, that is end or terminal cardiac failure because of the want of the heart. Now, heart cannot be taken from a live person and given to another person like a kidney transplant or intestinal transplant. Some part can be given from a mm -hmm. person which is a seg short segment of a liver or one kid or intestine. But the heart has to come from either a brain dead individual, that is a cadaver, or it has to come from some source. Now, xenotransplantation, mm -hmm. if this is so, then it is a real breakthrough. Uh, pigs are grown uh, for food, for meat. And uh, if the FDA, the Food and Drug, approves, now currently this is in compassionate ground transplantation, which has been done because this is a do and die situation and FDA on compassionate ground gave the permission but if this kind of breakthrough leads us to a xeno transplantation happening commonly then this will be a real thing a real world scenario where we can achieve the organ transplant organ shortage of the organ transplantation now here it is not a very ordinary thing like Absolutely, you know, just take the organ yeah. the there are a lot of gene edits which are required the uh, heart is to be taken out from the pig's body first and we have to do a lot of gene insert and gene knockout we have to do certain changes in the genetic uh, makeup of the uh, pig heart. And uh, those genes which are responsible for the uh, graft rejections are to be knocked out. And certain human genes are to be inserted into the dog's mm -hmm. heart. So that acceptance of the organ, which is a transported organ, happens. Now, a lot of medications are also required to suppress the immunity so that one doesn't get the graft rejection. This is a double-edged sword. If you use a lot yeah. of the medications, which are steroids, then uh, uh, this graft rejection separation therapy, then it leads us to infections also. So these are very vulnerable to infections. On one side, we are suppressing the immunological makeup of an individual. On the other side, we are increasing the risk of infection. So this is not a simple cakewalk, but this is a real breakthrough. We have been using a lot of care 
uh, valves Absolutely. that is porcine and bovine valves. And uh, this was somewhere tried for first in man, first in world. And it later on succeeded. And we are doing a lot of bovine porcine valve transplant after genetic uh, transformation. Maybe crops of pigs where the uh, weight-wise human body uh, suiting uh, pig heart trans, uh, hearts are uh, retrieved and the gene insert gene knockout is done beforehand, then they may help us in multiple uh, saving of the multiple lives. Absolutely. Dr. Surasi, like you were mentioning, this is holding out a massive hope for, you know, uh, the organ crisis that the world is witnessing. But I just wanted to understand, considering they zeroed in on a pig's heart uh, for this transplant, uh, you know, ample research must have been, uh, must have gone into play here because like you were mentioning, the weight also needs to be at a certain uh, level and that's what is also a deciding factor. So I just wanted to get the technicalities right here. Xeno transplantation department, which are specifically studying this thing, like baboon heart, pig heart, cow's heart, and different different parts of the heart, like aorta, valve, uh, then arch of the aorta, they have been partly tried. Mm -hmm. Now this uh, pig heart transplantation, which has been uh, done, this is after a lot of research. The heart was been taken mm -hmm. and it was uh, stored in a particular environment. Now why pig? Because uh, Pigs are large in number and already available for meat purpose, for food purpose, everywhere. And uh, the overall size of the pig heart generally matches if the pig is of one more than one year or so, an adult human heart. Generally, the uh, heart size of an okay. adult human and a one-year-old pig, it matches the sizes. So this, uh, what is actually uh, is wanted. Okay. And... Uh, pigs, okay. Also, Dr. Surasi, the so fact that three days on, more. the patient is doing uh, quite all right. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to understand what is the, the time of recovery that the doctors are really giving after this massive heart transplant uh, that they have achieved? So we may say that up to three months, we have to keep doing the biopsy, endomyocardial biopsy, and study the acute rejection or chronic rejection and uh, give the immunosuppressant as per the titration of the dosages. So it is too early, three days is too early. So we'll have to wait for the end results for at least mm -hmm. uh, time frame of three months we are looking at. Because in the earlier times also, when the first heart okay. transplant was done okay. without any immunosuppressant, the patient survived for 18 days. Now it is too early, in the three days to comment that this is a leap for ahead, but definitely we can look through and uh, can have more research on this renal transplantation and there are departments which have flourished, which have been doing genotransplantation. Mm. And we may in future succeed getting more heart transplantation, organ transplantation happening from the pig to human body. So we will have to wait for at least three months. Right. Also, Dr. Sarasya, one final question. All right. One final question that I'd like to ask you is also this was a voluntary thing, both from the patient and also his family. So this was a major yes that they had to actually go ahead because by the end of the day, this is this was an experimentation that so far Touchwood has gone right and we hope that the uh, patient goes ahead, recovers finally. So this is also a major factor that comes into play because saying yes to something on an experimental basis because the guy had three six months to live. Yes. See, when there is nothing left, one may try out any option which is available and told by, entailed by the medical uh, therapist. And this is the uh, first experiment, but that person had a do and die situation, had nothing to be done. So initially, mm -hmm. we used to try elevated devices like, you know, ventricular assist devices or a bridge therapy to keep that person alive for a certain number of months, weeks, or uh, even years. But uh, I am not aware whether this person has used some bridge over therapy like a pacemaker or left ventricular assist device, right ventricular assist device, or heart assist device of any kind and directly went on compassionate ground uh, for this heart transplantation. Uh, Surase, all right, uh, one more thing that I wanted to understand uh, considering we are talking about uh, this surgery in Maryland, US. Uh, how soon, if we see the success rate, and obviously it's a hypothetical question, how soon can we see something like this in India as well? It is a full moon day and we are seeing moon from Earth. So we still have time ahead. 
with this kind of you know genetic uh, uptakes and genetic inserts and genetic knockout being done uh, rampantly every part of the world if we if this is going to help then this may happen everywhere it may happen in this coming few years maybe 2 to 5 years because this uh, important process of genetic knockout and okay. genetic insertion is not available everywhere world over it is available in certain uh, only limited setups so that is a key to geno transplantation success where we have labs to do genetic mm -hmm. knockout and genetic inserts so it may take 2 to 5 years to get into okay. this kind of uh, geno transplantation happening in the numbers which we want All right. Thank you so much for joining me on the broadcast, Dr. Vijay Sarase. Your inputs are highly noted. And thank you so much for talking about this breakthrough that we have been bringing to our viewers.